Good morning. Let's confess the Word of God together. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is Lord over my family. Jesus is Lord over my city. Jesus is Lord over my state. Jesus is Lord over my nation. Jesus is Lord over the nations of the world. And Jesus is Lord of all. Today, I hear and receive the Word of God. My ears are opened, my eyes are open to see, and the Word of God produces a hundredfold in me in Jesus' name. So yesterday, we looked at, again, Jeremiah 29, 11, where God says, I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Put your name in there. He's talking about you. Yes, you and your family and everything that concerns you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end, and that is God's will for you. Let's read our foundation scripture. John 14, 27. This is what we have inherited, and this is uh, what the Lord has directed us to learn about our inheritance, what has been given to us, what rightfully belongs to us. So Jesus said in John 14, 27, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And then the Holy Spirit said through the Apostle Paul, The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but peace and joy and righteousness in the Holy Ghost. And we have uh, looked at the scriptures in the Old Testament that have prophesied the peace of God, that he guides us in the way of peace, that, um, that peace is within our walls and prosperity within our palaces. So let me just give you a testimony of that uh, recent in my life. My, my third son, Matthew, and I have to tell you, my children have been so, so good to me, all of them, since um, Frank went to be with the Lord. They all call me. They all uh, check to see what I can do. They all include me in their plans. They have been far beyond what I could ask or think. So my third son, Matthew, uh, was going on vacation, and his all of his family on his wife's side, they take a trip once a year to the beach and um, they, all of the children, all of them, and they're very godly. They're also uh, in the ministry and very grateful for that godly, godly word of faith ministers. And so they included me this year in their trip. Well, before we ever left the driveway, Stephanie, my daughter, one of my daughters-in-law, she said, Grandma, let's stop and pray before we ever leave. I said, okay. Uh, so she prayed. I added to it. And uh, then Matthew was in another car. He added to it. And, of course, we prayed for uh, that the, all of the automobiles would function perfectly, no problems, that the traffic would be great, that the weather would be great that there would be no accidents or no even near accidents, that all of our paths would be peace, that the water would be great. And we had uh, a report on the news that there was a lot of seaweed. We went down to Gulf Shores, Alabama, that there was a lot of seaweed. Well, Stephanie started commanding it to leave. And do you know, it left. And the water was, oh, it was so beautiful, so perfect. The trip was so perfect, we prayed that he would direct us to the right, correct restaurants, that just everything in the family, everything in the trip would just be full of peace and prosperity. We all had an abundance of money. We stayed in a very nice uh, house that was rented in a complex and uh, that had two pools. God provided abundantly for all of us. And the whole family was just full of peace and joy and kindness. And uh, like I said, the water was just, it was absolutely perfect. We also prayed for no 
um, no jellyfish, no stingrays, no man of wars. And so um, that, you know, God took care of that as well. I, the last day we were there on Friday, there was uh, a shark spar spotted, <coughs> excuse me, in our water, lurking, as they said, in our water. And we commanded it to leave. We said, no, this is our territory. We are going to swim. We are going to enjoy the, the water. So you must go. And he left. And so we got out there and spent quite a while in the, in the water, in the waves, just enjoying the blessing of the Lord. You know, he gave us richly the beaches to enjoy, the mountains to enjoy, the money to enjoy, the health to enjoy. Everybody was in perfect health, no problems. And so that is the will of God, is for everything to be so full of peace, so full of His peace that all of our surroundings, all of our paths are peace. And that is also prophesied in, uh, in Psalms, that all of our paths would be peace. So I just wanted to give you uh, that good testimony so that you can see what God's intent for you is. And you know, right now I know that uh, gas prices are high for uh, people that drive, but you know, God is the God of the oil. And my scripture for that is that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And that my God liberally supplies, fills to the full, my every need, desire, and want according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So he will always see to it that you have an abundance of gas, abundance of uh, diesel, whatever it is that you need for your vehicle. He'll even give you airplanes and supply for that. <laughs> Set your affection on the things above and the things that God has for you and that his heart's desire is for you to receive his peace into your life, into your marriage, into your family, so that uh, everything in your life from now and throughout eternity is just full full of peace and that was another thing is every person in this family is so kind to each other even if they have to uh, you know say make a little correction or something it's just all with kindness it's always just such a blessing um, and so that's just part of the peace of God just peace Peace, peace is within our walls and prosperity within our palaces. So I wanted to encourage you with that word to not wait for a storm to decree peace. Decree peace and you won't have a storm. That isn't that a good word? No storms, only peace. Uh, you know, so many times religion centers in on, and, and it is good to teach about uh, how Jesus... Um, rebuke the storm. That That is a very, very good teaching on faith. But you know, there was only that one storm. There, He didn't go through a storm every day, and he took care of it immediately. So don't be storm-minded. Be peace-minded. That peace, you have peace on every side. And saints, let me remind you, this is your inheritance. This is a gift from your Heavenly Father. You know, in Ephesians, he said, that throughout the ages, he, our Father, would show us the exceeding riches of his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. That is God's will for you. So receive his peace right now in every area of your life and just start speaking it, that I have the peace of God in every area of my life in Jesus' name. Remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God for our inheritance of peace, his peace in Jesus' name.